Hey guys, I was looking through my YouTube channel and I realized there are not enough chocolate recipes for my liking. So today I'm showing you how to make a salted caramel chocolate tart. This is definitely an indulgent recipe, but it's perfect for those occasions when you really want to treat yourself. So I'm going to start by showing you how to make the salted caramel. This is really easy to make. People get a bit scared about making this, but it's really easy. So in a pan, I've got some caster sugar and I'm gonna let that heat up. When making caramel, people tell you not to stir the sugar. I have no water in my pan, so it's okay. So about halfway through, I'll give the bottom a bit of a move just so it doesn't catch. It'll create some crystals, but they should melt. Look over there, my friends are joining me. I'm boring you. Time to add in the butter. Now the mixture is going to froth up, so you want to lower the temperature so it doesn't splash up and burn you. Once the butter starts to melt, I like to switch to a whisk. I just feel that helps me mix it all together. That's looking nice and smooth, so I'm gonna pour in the cream. Once it's combined, take that off the heat and to make it that delicious salty caramel, I'm going to add in some sea salt flakes. To serve my salted caramel chocolate tart, I'm using a big round sweet pastry case. But if you don't want to do that, you can make little small tarts. Now you can use a shop-bought pastry case or shop-bought pastry, but if you wanna make it at home, I'll leave a link in the description box below. So before adding in the caramel, you want to let that come to room temperature first, pour it into the case, and then pop it in the fridge until it's set. Just a quick tip about cleaning your pan. If you've got some sugar crystals around the edge, fill it with some soapy water, bring it back to a boil and it should come off nicely. While the caramel sets in the fridge, it's time to make that delicious chocolate ganache. This is super easy to make. I have some double cream in a pan. I'm going to heat that up with a tablespoon of coffee. Now this is optional. I just think it helps bring out that delicious chocolate flavor. Just keep that moving every so often so the bottom doesn't stick to the pan. So once that's really hot, don't let it come to boiling point. You're gonna pour it over some finely chopped chocolate and some butter. You're gonna let that melt until it's lovely and smooth. The chocolate I've got is a mixture of milk and dark. That's to make it nice and rich, but not too bitter. And to give it a bit more sweetness, I'm going to sift in some icing sugar. I love this recipe because it can be so easy to whip up. If you don't want the fuss of making salted caramel at home, you can just buy one in a jar and you can even buy the pastry case. The ganache takes minutes. Then you just need to leave it in the fridge to set and that is it. Once that's nice and smooth, that can be poured over the set caramel, pot back in the fridge, and then you just need to leave it to set and then it's ready. To top, I like to decorate with a few more sea salt sprinkles, but you could add some more chocolate or some fresh fruit. So that is how you make my salted caramel chocolate tart. Easy.